Snowdrift Rally in Northern Michigan was round one of the 2010 Rally America Championship. It greeted teams from all over North America with single-digit temperatures and extremely icy conditions. Teams covered 130 miles of competitive stages over two days. Studded tires would have helped with the ice, but they're illegal in Rally America competition, so the teams found the conditions to be the most challenging they had ever experienced. Uh, it's a really tough snowdrift this year. It's uh, quite cold and it's really, really icy. So uh, we're all trying to figure out what tires to use and exactly how, how to strategize. And um, I think it's going to be a very difficult rally. The brutal conditions claimed several high-profile victims. Ken Block and co-driver Alex Gelsomino jumped from Subaru to Ford this year to create their own Monster World Rally team. But Ken and Alex failed to finish after a suspension component broke near the end of day one. Subaru Rally Team USA's Dave Vera and co-driver Derek Ringer moved up from super production to open class for 2010. They were running as high as fourth overall in the event before they found some snowbanks and a tree late on day two. I came over a, a, a left, right five minus over a crest, got icy, and we were, we, were, we were cooking and just hit a tree and spun out of it. All the lights blew off. We had no lights, nothing. He put triangles out. I'm like, dude, that's it. I, I could have cried, dude. Like three tenths of a mile to the end of the stage. I went back, got myself together, flicked it, it started up, and I said, are you kidding me? So Ringer got his little flashlight, and we drove out of the stage. The team pulled into the finish, trailing pieces of bodywork from their battered car. But even after the incident, they still managed to finish in sixth place. The top two-wheel drive team was Chris DuPlessis and Catherine Wood. They finished 11th overall in a 1990 Volkswagen GTI, a car built 20 years ago. The two battled to find traction with two wheels spinning in the ice and snow. They were the only two-wheel drive car to finish in the top half of the field. The father-son team of Travis and Terry Hansen put in a control drive to secure a top five overall finish and the super production class win. Fourth place went to the NOS Energy team of Andrew ACP, Comrie Picard, and co-driver Jeremy Wimpy after getting stuck in a snowbank on stage nine. Bill Bacon and co-driver Peter Watt earned the third spot on the podium with a measured drive. Bacon is a proven podium threat, but typically runs only a partial championship season. In second place were top challengers Antoine Lestage and co-driver Natalie Richard. The former Canadian champions typically run select events south of the border and have won at Snowdrift before. Of all the, the winter rallies I've done, I've never seen conditions like that. It's, it's like we got a lot of rain here and it turns out like it's a nice rink and just a little thin layer of snow on top of it. And um, yeah, it's glare ice. You, you, it's, you need skates. With their Rockstar Energy Royal Group sponsorship, the pair plans to contest additional events in the Rally American Championship this year. After a treacherous two days of competition, it was defending Rally America champion Travis Pastrana who skated a victory at Snowdrift. Travis and co-driver Christian Edstrom grabbed a solid early lead and built on it the rest of the event. But Pastrana was battling the conditions, the competitors, and the pain of a badly injured left shoulder. Ever the optimist, though, Pastrana said the injury might have actually helped his performance. Well, doctors say I'm 100%-ish. I got to drive a little smoother um, than normal because of the shoulder, but... As slick as the conditions are out there right now, I think it, it might actually be, uh, be the best interest. Travis's final margin of victory was more than a minute and a half. Consider it his announcement that he wants a fifth championship. Yeah! Leading after round one. If we just make it home without hitting a deer, we'll be all right. <laughs> Next stop on the Rally America Championship is the 100 Acre Wood Rally, February 26th and 27th in southern Missouri. To find out more, follow the action at rallyamerica.com.